Opposition leader Dr. Hubert Minnis was named by the Speaker of the House of Assembly today before being escorted from Parliament by police. Refusing for a 14th time to retract charges against the Prime Minister that he has not substantiated, Dr. Minnis defied the Speaker's order to leave the chamber prompting the suspension of Parliament. Carla Palmer was in the chamber as Minnis, cloaked by his parliamentary colleagues, was approached by police. House of Assembly proceedings got off to a late start this Wednesday morning, well after the 10 o'clock hour. And when it did get started, House Speaker the Honorable Dr. Kendall Major reiterated events of the previous House sitting on July 22nd. The actions by the member for Kalani was in stark contravention of our rules of procedure and disrespected the honor of this institution. Back on that date, the House was abruptly suspended due to opposition leader the Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis refusing to provide proof or withdraw his allegations against Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie that he, Mr. Christie, was involved in corrupt practices with respect to the stem cell bill. The chair has exercised great restraint in invoking reparation for the offending remarks and a gross violation of the rules. Well, today, Dr. Minnis was given yet again another opportunity to show proof or withdraw the allegations, and his response had not changed. I have no intention of withdrawing anything. You are out of order. Resume your seat. House Speaker Dr. Major then invoked Rule 87, verse 4 of the House, and named Dr. Minnis. Hubert Alexander Minnis, you are hereby named for two consecutive sittings. Dr. Major asked Dr. Minnis to leave the House chambers. Dr. Minnis did not respond. It has been moved and seconded that the business of this House suspends for 15 minutes, during which time the member will be removed from these chambers. At the break, six uniformed police officers and several police inspectors entered the chambers to remove Dr. Minnis. By this time, Member of Parliament for Long Island, the Honorable Loretta Butler Turner, had already hoisted her placard, which read, Democracy will not be muzzled. And Dr. Minnis holding another reading, the Bahamas should be for Bahamians. The officers asked Dr. Minnis to leave the chambers and while making their way toward him, physically removed both the Member of Parliament for East Grand Bahama, the Honorable Peter Turnquist, and the Member of Parliament for Montague, the Honorable Richard Lightburn. As the officers got closer to Dr. Minnis, Mrs. Butler Turner said to them, and I quote, Don't touch us. Don't put your hands on us. We will leave. End quote. With officers leading the way and others in tow, all of the opposition members left the chambers, with the exception of the MP for South Abaco, the Honorable Edison Key. Fifteen minutes later, the House of Assembly resumed. Sidetracked from his previous communication back on July 22nd on the Stem Cell Therapy and Research Bill, Member of Parliament for Golden Gates, the Honorable Shane Gibson, then got his opportunity to make his contribution. I'm Carla Palmer for ZNS Network News.